UFC 276, a stack card this weekend. Let's get right into the main event. Israel Adesanya versus Jared Cannonier on the money line as of this recording. Adesanya, the huge favorite at minus 480. Meanwhile, Jared Cannonier, a plus 330. Brian, how do you see this fight going? Huge favorite and well-deserved. He's 22-1 and one for his career. 2-0 and oh since, using, since losing to Jan Bohovitz not too long ago, but he also moved up in weight for that. At middleweight, he's undefeated. This is going to be his fifth straight title defense in which i think he'll be successful uh jared cannonier very very good fighter and he's been on the tear as of late five and one in his last six but i just don't see how he sort of solves the puzzle that is israel adesanya the style bender so i'm gonna go with israel adesanya here i think the responsible bet is to go with izzy by knockout which still has good value as of this recording at plus 190. so that's where i'm gonna go that's where i'm leaning unfortunately for jared cannonier this is a five round fight and i think izzy's gonna make the most chantel what do you think I see this fight going exactly how you said, because when you look at Jared Cannonier in his last fight, he took care of Brunson by knockout. He had that nasty elbow. He throws everything with power. He's explosive. He's got great athleticism. But at the same time, I think he's going to try to close that distance on Adesanya. Listen, Adesanya, great footwork. He's good at controlling the distance. So I really think Jared Cannonier might leave himself open. And we know that Izzy has immaculate timing. He's explosive. He might throw that nasty uppercut or a left hook he's quicker he has a higher iq and he's one of the best kickboxers in all of the ufc and one of the greatest middleweights of all time so i see this one adesanya winning by knockout at plus 190. so we got to switch gears now and move over to the co-main and on a regular UFC card, this might also be a main event because we're getting the trilogy. Alexander Volkanovsky, Max Holloway 3 on the money line as of this recording. Volkanovsky is the favorite, minus 200, but a bit of a pick em because Max Holloway is a plus 154. Brian, how do you see this one going? Unfortunately for Max Holloway, probably not too much different from what we've seen. Now, in fairness, I thought in the split decision victory that Volkanovsky got, there was a real case for Max Holloway to win that fight. And because of that, I think that's the only reason we're getting a third fight because it's 2 0 Volkanovski right now. But one of them could have gone either way. I kind of think Max Holloway has to win this by knockout if he's going to win this fight. If you do want to take that bet, he's plus 550 to do so. Volkanovski doesn't lose, though. He hasn't lost in nine years. I think the smart play is to go with Alexander Vol Volkanovski by decision at plus 125. He has a shot to really dominate this again. Max Holloway, I feel like needs to sort of let it all hang out and take the title from him, use his striking and really use the distance and try to create some space there because Volkanovski is one of the best pressure fighters in the UFC. So Chantel, that's what I'm rolling with right now. Well, the thing about Max Holloway is unless he became a better grappler or wrestler within the time that he hasn't fought Alexander Volkanovsky, I see this fight going the exact same way. But you look at the past two fights that they both had, right? Volkanovski, the Korean zombie, Brian Ortega looked really good. But at the same time, Max Holloway has had tougher fights. He beat Calvin Cater, also Rodriguez. So I think he's had the tougher fights as of late. But at the same time, Volkanovski, you know, he's going to be chopping away at those legs. He's going to want this fight on the ground. As for Max Holloway, he is a great striker. I think he's going to have the edge in volume. But at the end of the day, I think Volkanovski gets the W. So I'm also going to roll with Volkanovski by points at plus 125. There you go. Remember, enjoy the fights. Bet with your chest. Do it responsibly. Do it with FanDuel Sportsbook. And take care. We'll see you next time.